We're joined today by Dr. Mary Gentili from the Darden School of Business at the University of Virginia. And she um, has spoken today on the topic of giving voice to value. So Dr. Gentili, what does giving voice to value mean? <laughs> Thanks very much, Chris. Um, well, Giving Voice to Values is an innovative approach to values-driven leadership development. Um, it was created as a, as a pedagogy and a curriculum for business education, but it's now being used um, across professions and across industries and companies in NGOs around the world. And the basic idea behind it is that if you want to develop a values-driven leader, rather than thinking about that process, is entirely a cognitive process, entirely an intellectual process of uh, giving you a decision-making framework. Instead, we try and build on the fact that quite often people have pretty good instincts and have a sense of the things that they feel are, are really problematic, but they don't necessarily think they have options. They don't necessarily think they have choices. They may think either that it's futile to try and make change, or they may think that there may be some sort of retaliation if they try and make change, or they may be just afraid and assume that they, they just don't have all the information. And so they silence their own better instincts. So what Giving Voice to Values is, is a methodology to allow people to ask the question, what if I wanted to act on my values? What if I wanted to, if I knew what I believed the right thing to do was, how could I get it done? And we literally provide a process, a protocol, for people to develop scripts and action plans that are more likely to be effective. Um, this is based on our gathering many, many stories from around the world of people who have done this effectively, and also people who have tried and failed and to learn from their mistakes. And we found that that rehearsal, that practice, allows people to create a kind of moral muscle memory so that they're more likely to act effectively in the future. And so that we can act on what our values are be more effective in doing the right thing. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mary Gentilly.